this is Joshua Hart here for Seconds Out. Delighted today to be joined by Izzy Asif here in central London. Izzy, it's a massive, massive day for GBM. Just tell us the amazing news that you've got for us. GBM can proudly announce a partnership, multi-five partnership with DAZN. It's a massive day for us. Huge, huge step up to take it to that next level. We're so proud to be signing one of the biggest sporting platform, the biggest sporting platform in the world. 200 countries, 20 million subscribers, massive social media. The home of, home of sport and home of boxing. The passion, the vision, the drive they have is similar to what GBM want. We want to, we want to be the best. We want to spread our brand all over the world. And it's great to partner with such, such reputable, such growing platform and, 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 and the future of sport in my eyes. And how did this opportunity with the zone all come about? There's been conversations going for a while now, obviously, to see what we've done. And, and, and it's a testament to them to kind of identify us, because I do believe we do really good at what we do. I believe we put cracking shows on. We've got a great platform. We've got a great matchmaking team as well. And they've identified that. And uh, there were talks with other broadcasters, other deal, potential deals. But for me, this suited us best. This is what we wanted. They've got the same vision, same kind of drive. And, and the global audience is so appealing to have 200 countries and so many subscribers watching your potential foot shows. It's, it's massive for us. And when you look at the journey that GBM have been on, just what statement does this send out? Everybody out there who gets doubted, people say you can't do it, you're not from this, you're not cut for this, you're not capable of this, you're not made for this, ignore all the critics, put a blocker out there because I've done that. I had every single negativity you could think of from you know, element of racism, element of everything I had. I ignored it, tunnel vision, and believed in my product, worked hard, took chances, and here we are. You know, we're signing a massive deal with DAZN, and we're centre of London, Mayfair, Sheesh Restaurant, announcing a massive, massive partnership for us. And you mentioned all the, the, the I guess, the hate comments that you've had. How do you use them to fuel the fire? Because a lot of people would get beaten down by them, wouldn't they? Yeah, but I have tunnel vision, and, and I, I, I used to get fighters coming to me saying, oh, uh, you know, this fighter said this don't sign with Izzy, don't sign with GBM. But I, I fueled it for positivity. All the kind of doubt and the negativity are fueled for positivity. That's what we've done, and we're here now. And, and ignore it, you've got to ignore it. You're going to have people doubting us. We're going to have people doubting us now and say we're not good enough, we're not going to do nothing in the zone. And all sorts of happen, but it's all part of the journey. And I've signed up to be a boxing promoter. Nobody forced me to it. I don't have to financially do this. So I have a lot of passion and vision and, and, and kind of inspiration. And, Listen, I can inspire some young kid out there saying, Izzy from Sheffield, who didn't come from really humble beginnings, didn't have much going for him when he was younger. A lot of people doubted me in the community, the teachers, authorities. I did a lot against me, but we've turned it around. I believed in myself. I've got an unbelievable team around me. I've got great respect from the media. You guys who turn out to me. Look at the turnout here today. You know, we're on a Tuesday afternoon and it's absolutely packed to media. And it's a credit to our team and testament to our team, a young, driven, also experienced team with Adam Smith and the matchmakers on so yeah I'm, uh, I'm in a great place but this is the start of a massive journey it's not it's not the end it's not celebration time yet just yet we've got a lot of hard work to do and this isn't just a massive for yourself but it's all the fighters that have put their trust in you since the start how big is this for them it's huge you know they can have potentially 20 million subscribers watching the show it's massive what a platform and it's going to grow as well and there's potential growth of going abroad and going over the pond and that's so good about the zone they want to spread it everywhere and we live in a massive digital world times have changed you know from 10 15 years ago everything's like digital everything's going on on watching on on your ipads and your phones and the younger culture you know i've got nephews and, uh, and they're all everything's on a phone everything's on a on a tablet and that's the kind of way the world's going and and, and that's why the zone's so massive and so important now for the growth of sport and i think it's it's going to grow and grow and grow and develop and I'm glad we're part of the journey. I'm glad we're associated with brands like Matchroom and Canelo and Joshua on the same platform as us. It's huge for us, huge. And the journey will start in just two weeks out in Coventry. Just tell us about the Coventry show. It's a stacked card. Give us your best, give, just give us your best thoughts on it. Listen, June the 29th is uh, on paper our best show. We've really tried matching the guys hard. We understand this was before does all even come on board. We've got a we've got a belief in our camp and our team. We've got to match them hard. Yeah, they're our fighters. We've got to look after their them, their records and they're financially investing them. But at the same time, they've got to get step up. And this is what boxing needs, and it's happening a lot now. And I'm not saying I'm the one who's got a lot of promoters to do it now. We we put a lot of 50-50 fights on where even your home fighter invested it could lose and. We've got, you know, Danny Quartermain topping it. We've got now Berry on it, who's, I believe, one of the best super bad teammates in the country. We've got Huey Fury back on it. We've got Kieran Malloy, Tina Bradley. We've got Nabil Mansouri from uh, Belgium, Moroccan. Ten fights, ten knockouts. I'm excited to see him. 
I've never had the first fight with promoting him. So it's a packed card and it goes on. We've got another six fights. We've got Arlo Stevens, a heavyweight on. We've got Niall Farrell from Birmingham, River Wilson, Bent on. It's, it's you know, Scott Wilson on uh, Wilson on and all. So it's a really exciting time, a big show for us and it's going to be the first one in the zone, so yeah, looking forward to it. And you mentioned obviously being up there now with Eddie Hearn, Matchroom, likes them. We've seen the big connections that they've got out in Saudi Arabia. Is that the next step for GBM now, get itself out there? Yeah, listen, one step at a time. We're always looking to develop, and there's no yes or no. Obviously, the money's obscene there. And if I tell you I'm not going to take that money, I'll be lying to you. So I said, of course, how can you refuse that money? Not just for me, but for, for the fighters. And, and, and the fighters, if you get offered a certain amount of money, you take it. But at the moment, we're developing our brand here. We're growing. We've still got a lot, a lot of learning to do. You know, we're in a great position, but I want to. I'm always challenging myself. I'm always kind of pushing myself. So this is just a start, and there's a lot of development to do as well. And just while we're on the topic of Saudi Arabia, we've had a massive event recently with Queensby matching five v five. One of the fights I want to get your thoughts on. We've had Daniel Dubois stop Philip Hergovic. Yeah. That's leading on to a big fight with Anthony Joshua in Wembley. How do you see that fight playing out? What who I think's going to win? Anthony Joshua, Daniel Dubois, who's going to win? Joshua Kale. I just think Dubois really on a good form, but he gets caught too much for my liking. And you can't get caught with power like Joshua, because it's lights out. I've always said this, if Joshua catches anybody in the world, it's lights out. And yes, we're going to see, I still believe we're going to see the best answer to Joshua. You know, I, I think he's learned a lot from his defeats with Usyk and Ruiz. And he's, he's, come, he's, he's joining with Ben Davison, who I think is a phenomenal coach and tactician. Uh, I, I just think Joshua holds too much power, but it's a great fight. And I, and I respect Dewar du massively for what he's done because, you know, when he fought Joe Joyce, most people read him off. But he's come back, he had a close fight with Usyk, you know, just beat Ergovic. He's, he's kept, he keeps proving people wrong and the respect to him and Frank Warren, they've done a great job on him. Great promotional job on him, but I believe Joshua just holds too much power for him. And do you take inspiration from those top promoters, especially with you being so new in the industry? How much inspiration do you take from them? So I respect them genuinely, that's not on camera. If you ask me off camera, I'll tell you the same. I, I was talking about this on the train. I respect what Eddie's done. Sorry, let's start with Frank, he's the older one. Let's start with the other one. How resilient he's been for, for 30 odd years as a promoter or longer. How tough this sport is and he's kept it. And he's still on top of the game. He's got top prospects in the country, top fighters, top champions in the country. Still at it, resilience, hard work, tunnel vision, credit to him. And Eddie, for me, when Eddie come on board, he kind of transformed British boxing and the way things happened. He changed small kind of arenas to big stadium kind of fights. And it's massive, he's got a good vision and now obviously on the same platform together. It's going to be massive. And I'm just learning and I respect what these guys done. And one of the reasons I really respect them, I understand how hard this game is. I really do get how hard this is. So I respect Eddie and Frank and I think they've done great. And, and how, what Ben Shalom's done for a young guy, you know, getting the biggest sporting platform in the country. And, and then... Cali and all that have done great and all what they're doing with the, with the stuff and all on Channel 5 and Wazerman as well. So, yeah, I don't, I'm not one of them promoters that are going to talk bollocks about somebody else. I know how hard it is. I get that rivalry back and forth and eventually you'll probably see me having a bit of back and forth with promoters, but it'll just be, it'll just be a bit of fun and a bit of banter. It won't be real personal, never is. I understand the kind of severity and hardness of this game, but they said we'll just keep going, celebrate today with some water. That's what I'm having today and, yeah, it's a good day for all of us. Izzy, absolutely buzzing for you. Thank you very much for your time and I can't wait to see what this journey holds for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers, Izzy. Thank you very much. Thank you.